where should we start? Uh, unfortunately, the hospitals have a lot of problems. Uh, starting from idea overcrowding, stress staff, uh, many of them are under red ink in anticipation of Affordable Care Act uh, being in action starting January 1st. They are trying to improve it and they don't know where to start. You're absolutely right. So what they do, they start at the places where they see the consequence. So if, for example, you are a patient and you have a headache, uh, due to your blood pressure, it's impossible to cure your continuing headache until you address the cause, the blood pressure. The same is with what the hospitals see. The hospitals are being penalized, for example, for readmission, and it has been documented in a study at Hopkins and others that the readmissions increase by the factor of five during the time when the patient flow peaks. So that's a real problem. We cannot resolve readmission uh, when it increases by 500% by some other actions. I'm not saying that other interventions are not, uh, not necessary. They are, but they are not sufficient as long we, as we put the hospitals under stress. So where those uh, artificial peaks are coming from? From elective admission. So what other sources of elective admission? Mostly it is operating room, catheterization lab, some of the transfers. Those are sources of elective admission. Surprisingly, we found that against common sense that those admissions, the volume of those admissions is more variable than admissions through the emergency department, which is against uh, common sense. It means that our mother nature is more predictable than our ways of managing patient flow. So those units where you have elective admission, operating room first, and catheterization lab second, those are the starting points. 